In this lesson, we'll explain what EDIDs are and how to use alternative ones under special circumstances if this is ever necessary. EDID stands for Extended Display Identification Data. It's a metadata format that allows a display, video processor, or a switching device to communicate its capabilities to the device connected to it. This information includes supported video resolutions, refresh rates, color spaces, audio codecs, and so forth. In most cases, you shouldn't need to make any changes to the EDIDs, especially if you're using high-quality, certified HDMI cables. Therefore, it's recommended to leave these settings as they are unless you have a specific reason to change them. You can see your EDIDs display details on the Display Information menu page, as shown here. Let's explore how to manage and override your EDIDs should this ever be necessary and a few circumstances that may warrant this. To begin, let's have a look at these options on the HDMI configuration menu. The stored EDIDs option is used to store the EDID information from the currently selected display to one of the eight slots in the Envy. You can use these stored EDIDs in the HDMI input EDID or output EDID override menu options. To store the EDID for the current display, highlight the stored EDIDs option like I have here and select one of the eight available slots. Then press OK to save it. Once saved, you can then select this EDID for the input or output override, as shown here. To remove the custom EDID, Highlight it under the Stored EDID setting and press the red button. Storing an EDID block can be helpful, for example, if you're having an HDI matrix switch that's causing issues with your EDID blocks. If you ever wish to change the EDID that the Envy reports to your AVR, do so by selecting the desired EDID under the HDMI input. This can be useful, for instance, if the HDMI cable between the Envy and your AVR is struggling to provide the full 18 gigabits per second bandwidth. We'll cover this more in an upcoming lesson on troubleshooting. Likewise, if you should ever wish to force the Envy to use a different EDID than your display reports, select the EDID you wish to use from the HDMI output EDID override option. This is helpful, for example, if you know your display supports a special frame rate like 48 Hertz or a special resolution like 5120 by 2160, but the display's EDID is missing this information. In this case, you can select the appropriate override here. We talked about overriding the HDMI output EDID in prior lessons on setting up certain displays. Refer to those lessons for more information. Please note that after changing the HDMI output EDID override, you must restart the Envy before these changes will take effect. Also note that you can use the Envy IP control utility to manage EDIDs. We'll cover using this tool for this purpose in an upcoming lesson. Okay, now that we covered how to manage EDIDs and when to override them, it's time to move on to our next lesson.